there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I do these videos just to educate women more on things you can do with your whole food nutrition, matching it to your body and your hormones to get and keep a better result. I'm the author of the book of The Female Fat Solution, which is on Amazon, and host of the podcast with a female health solution. And I have a YouTube channel, which is Dr. Beth Westy. You can subscribe to it, um, and all of my archived videos are there in case you're looking for something specific. Um, today, I wanted to talk about the top three detox tips for women in menopause. This is something that a lot of women don't even think about, meaning I didn't even realize that I needed to detox differently, or if I wanted to feel better, get more energy, all that stuff, hmm, maybe I'll do a cleanse or something. Cool. But if you're missing out on some of these key things, then you're really not getting the full effect or you're actually not completing a full detox. Mm -hmm. Yes. I also right now have registration open for the 12 week menopause challenge, meal guide, grocery list, everything else. I'm taking you through step by step every day, week, month for 12 weeks to make sure that you are getting all the right nutrition for your system to restart your metabolism, get more energy, build more muscle, everything else. So right now I'm going to put a link right here hold on let me make sure it works there we go you can click the link and schedule a call with my team what this means is that you're going to learn more about the program learn more about if it's the right fit for you i only work with so many women right because i want to make sure that i have the time to dedicate to you specifically help you with the things that you need help guide you along the way right it's not like i just like let everybody and anybody in it's got to be the right fit for you that it's actually going to help and i want to make sure that i've got time to really dedicate to helping you as much as you need so click that link just fill out the the little form there get scheduled with a call super super easy um um, but when we talk about some of these detox tips here, I really want you to understand this is something that I actually walk women through as well. This is part of the the 12 week menopause challenge. It's a tiny part, but it is part of it that we go into. So not only are you going to be able to go through all this stuff, but you're actually getting guided on this and you're going to learn so much more about how your body works and functions so that six months from now, a year from now, You've got this knowledge, you've got this information, and, and, and you're not gonna be sitting here wondering anymore what to do or how to do it. You're already gonna know, because you've been through it then. So, detox tips here when we talk about detoxing for women in menopause. One of the big key things is to start incorporating some intermittent fasting, but it's really essential that you're doing an intermittent fasting protocol for women. If you're doing an intermittent fasting regimen, just like how a man would do, terrible result, right? Oftentimes for women, it actually backfires. I get emails and messages from women literally all over the world every day. And they send me messages on things on intermittent fasting like, oh my gosh, I started doing this and my husband lost 10 pounds and I gained two. What the heck is happening? And I'm like, yeah, because you're following it just like he is. Your body and system is totally different, when, especially when you go through menopause. Your hormones shift and change so much that your system needs something completely different. And he's a different dynamic. So if you're not taking into account the hormones and everything else, you're really missing out on the benefit of intermittent fasting and you're not actually getting the help with it. So keep that in mind there. So intermittent fasting, follow protocol for women. Again, in the 12 week menopause challenge, I have it all listed out there. I walk you through it and make sure you're successful with it. The second thing to focus on here is your liver. This is one that a lot of women miss, right? They're like, oh, I'm totally going to do this detox. It's going to be amazing. I love it. And they'll do some like intestinal cleanse or something like that, right? Okay, which is fine, right? That's fine. That's not a terrible thing. But if you're not addressing your liver, you're actually missing out on processing those hormones through your body. Meaning you have to have your liver metabolize all that excess hormone. And this includes cortisol, which is a stress hormone. So if you are really taking into account, really detoxing your whole body, your whole system, everything, you got to help your liver. You got to help your liver. Oh, thanks. Such great info. Yes. Right. And most women are like, oh, I'm just going to detox. I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to do a foot bath or something. Cool. <laughs> Those can help detoxify, you know, some of your system. But for women in menopause, perimenopause and menopause, you really need to focus on, okay, getting those hormones processed through your system. And that is done by the liver. So just support your liver. It's super easy, right? It's not hard to do. You just got to have it be part of your protocol so it gets done. Again, otherwise you're like, you'll be done with the detox and you're like, well, maybe I feel different, but I'm not sure. Then you didn't do the right detox. <laughs> That's the big key thing there. Okay. Last thing here is flushing your lymph. 
what is lymph? Like, what a weird word. It kind of sounds like a bug. <laughs> lymph is, so everybody knows about like your circulatory system, right? Your, your heart pumps your blood through your body. You actually have another fluid system in your body called your lymph, right? And that is underneath the skin. You have big lymph, um, uh, so the most familiar thing that people are uh, with lymph system is your adenoids, your tonsils, right? That are uh, in your mouth, right? Like right here. Have you ever been to the doctor and they're like, and you're like, oh, I'm not feeling good. And they like feel right here. They're looking to see if your lymph nodes are swollen. So you have lymph nodes here and then all the way down. You actually have them everywhere in your body, right? Face, here, all the way down your neck, chest. You have big ones in your armpits, in your groin, behind your knees, right? All these different places in your body. And they're in charge of helping move that fluid through the body. If you sprain an ankle, right? Everybody's sprained an ankle before, right? Yeah. Your ankle blows up like a balloon. Why? Lymph. It's that lymph fluid that's coming in there and trying to help. But that immobilizes it and it's painful and all these other things, right? So, so why is lymph so important? Well, lymph is really important because it actually can hold onto hormone. Mm -hmm. So especially if you're in perimenopause and menopause, if you are trying to really refresh your system, if you're really trying to take your health to the next level and you're completely ignoring the lymph, you're just having everything sit and stagnant. The one thing about lymph is that it doesn't move on its own. Like your heart pumps your blood. Nothing pumps the lymph. You have to, you know, move it. And it's really easy to do. I use dry brushing to do it. And this is something I show women how to do in the 12-week menopause challenge. I show you how to do it. It's really, really easy. And holy cow, do you see and feel these different results? You can see and feel like the fluid going down. People who are like, oh, puffy. Or if you wake up and you feel puffy. Or you're like, oh, my skin is weird. You know, all these other things. This is one of the things that makes a really big difference. A really big difference in a relatively short amount of time. And like I said, it's easy to do. All these things are, they're not hard. You just have to know the protocol to follow so it works with your body and system. And it makes me nuts when people are like, oh, celery juice cleanse. And I'm like, cool, like, sure. But it, that's not for your liver and that's not for your lymph. Like, mm, if you're gonna go and dive into the celery juice, awesome. If you love it, super cool. Hey move your lymph too. Like help out the rest of your body. Come on. <laughs> I'm sweating now. I'm a little sweaty. <laughs> Thanks Danielle. <laughs> um, but that's, that's really one of the things to, to just kind of, you know, focus on, think about, yes, whole body health is really what's key for a lot of women. So, um, in the comments below, there is that link to schedule a call with my team. Find out more about the 12 week menopause challenge. We are enrolling in it right now. We start July 1st. So now is the time to get on board. And again, these little things here, tip of the iceberg of what we dive into. You are going to learn so much more about your body, how to work with it and how to quickly get amazing results in all these different areas of your health. I'm really, really excited. So just click that link, sign up for a call. Super easy and we can walk you through the process and answer any questions that you have. So, all right, that's what I got for you guys today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you later.